Hello and welcome to Hot News 24, please kindly subscribe to my channel if you are new here, today I'm going to reveal the hidden truth about the cause of Chiwenga and Umningogwa fight, Zimbabwe's President Emerson Umningogwa has outmaneuvered his deputy Constantino Chiwenga in the fierce battle to be the 2023 presidential candidate for the Zimbabwe African National Union Patriotic Front, ZANU, PF. At the party's elective congress held from the 26th to October 29th, the Central Committee. The highest decision-making body within the ruling party endorsed Umnengogwa to seek a second term in next year's general elections. ZANU-PF insiders say that as part of the agreement after the coup, which ousted former leader Robert Mugabe in November 2017, Umnengogwa was meant to step down for Chiwenga, a former commander of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces. However, before Mdenegwa even finished the first year of his first term, his backers had already endorsed him as the sole candidate in the 2023 general elections. Top officials within the ruling party say Chuenga and his camp were pushing for a face-off between the ex-military commander and Mdenegwa, but found themselves blocked. Addressing ZANU-PF supporters at the Congress on Friday, October 28, Chiwenga said his boss should get another five years, I strongly believe that we are much better off as a party and country if God grants the president many more years. He told supporters that while this Congress is supposed to be elective, the party structures have already clearly and thunderously endorsed Ngengugwa, president and first secretary as well as the ZANU-PF sole candidate in the 2023 national elections. People have thus spoken. Let there will be a bait. Umnengogwa, who said his party's manifesto will be launched soon, will likely run in the 2023 general polls against Nelson Chamisa, the prominent opposition party leader of the Citizens' Coalition for Change, whom he narrowly beat in the disputed 2018 election. Despite the coup agreement that Chiwenga will take over in 2023, Umnengogwa began to show his ambitions of contesting as the ZANU-PF leader during an interview at the 73rd session of the UN General Assembly in New York in September 2018, shortly after winning the controversial Harmonize polls in July. In December, during a ZANU-PF conference in Esigadini, Umnengogwa and his allies pushed for the ruling party's first secretary to serve two terms, Chiwenga's dreams have indeed been crushed for. 2023 Umningogwa was endorsed as the ruling party's presidential candidate for the 2023 Harmonize polls at the ZANU-PF Congress held in Bindura in late October last year. Quid says Chiwenga's camp seems to have been decimated by having some of its members pushed into diplomatic posts, while others are now dead. In 2019, Umning Gogwa took advantage of Chiwenga's illness and retired several key Chiwenga cadres in the military, while appointing his own key allies as part of his power consolidation. Efforts Anselm Senyatwi, an ex-presidential guard, PG, commander and Chiwenga's ally was appointed Zimbabwe's ambassador to Tanzania. Senyatwi, with his military personnel from the infantry battalion, the PG, and the mechanized brigade stationed at Inkamo Barracks in Harare had played a critical role in the 2017 coup. Others include the late Zimbabwe National Army Chief of Staff retired Lieutenant General Douglas Naika Aremba posted to Mozambique, retired Lieutenant General Martin K. Dondo posted to China, and retired Air Marshal Shiba Shambe Wanda. Another fact is that Umningogwa knows the role of the military in his own rise and will try to coup proof his administration through tactical appointments in the army as much as he can says Guid, in another move to weaken Chiwenga, Umnengogwa removed retired Lieutenant General Engelbert Rujaj from the ZANU-PF Commissariat, a critical department within the ruling party and replaced him with his own ally Victor Metamadanda.